Hi, this is John Fallows with a short video introduction to using Ergo with software-defined radios. So recently we've added some new features to Ergo. Uh, the program now connects to a variety of uh, other control packages, including HD-SDR, SDR Radio Console, Flex Radio Smart SDR Cat, and also Ham Radio Deluxe. And the advantage of this is that you're able to use those other packages in conjunction with all of the features of Ergo, and it's just like connecting directly to, uh, to your own receiver over a serial port. So if you read the FAQ, uh, what you will find is uh, these other applications control to a huge variety of uh, software-defined radios. It's pretty amazing the number of radios that are out there today and uh, that uh, are supported. And uh, the FAQ also contains more information on how to connect. Um, here's an example. Uh, these other packages tend to make a CAT connection available over a serial port, which means that Ergo can connect to it. So, for example, in uh, SDR console, if you open up Program Options, under the Serial Ports tab, you will see that uh, you have the ability to connect this application over one end of a virtual serial port cable that runs to another piece of software. In this case, I've connected SDR uh, Console to COM10, and it's making a limited number of commands available and information available to other programs. So we'll just connect to the receiver. What I'm doing is connecting remotely to uh, a Perseus, which is in a different location on my network. And this could be uh, a remote, remote uh, connection anywhere in the world to your radio. And so we'll just start it up. And so here is SDR console controlling the Perseus uh, directly. And in Ergo, by setting up the driver on COM port number 11, uh, I can just click that and connect the two programs together. So now you have the ability to control your SDR radio from Ergo, or have Ergo follow your SDR radio along as you change frequencies. So here's an example of changing frequencies uh, in SDR console. And you'll notice that the frequency also has changed in Ergo. Similarly, you can change uh, to, um, to uh, synchronous AM. And Ergo will also change to synchronous and vice versa. So you've got uh, a lot of choices how you connect the two together. Now, if you set Ergo to track, uh, or to, well, here's an example of finding. We're listening right now to uh, China Radio International, and uh, Ergo has switched to that frequency, uh, and it is showing propagation conditions to. Uh, China Radio International. Alternately, if you set Ergo to track, then as you change bands or change frequencies or whatever it is you might want to do in uh, software-defined radio, you'll notice that Ergo follows along, its database follows along, and the, uh, the propagation and mapping uh, all works together. It's uh, pretty seamless and pretty integrated. At the same time, if you want, you can also uh, control from Ergo, you can control the radio. Um, so if we just want to go back to, uh, say, WWV, I can enter 15 megahertz on the Ergo, and it will change the software-defined radio to 15 megahertz as well or vice versa, we can go to uh, just pick a frequency randomly, any frequency we want, and it will change the software to find radio to that frequency. So there's an example of uh, linking the two together. If you uh, look in the FAQ on the website, it will give you details as to how to connect to HD, SDR, Flex Radio, SDR Radio, and so on. So thank you for this opportunity to uh, present uh, the new feature available in Ergo, and I hope you get a chance to enjoy our software with your favorite software-defined radio.